Hey guys, so if you have never come face to face with a stinging caterpillar before, you're in for a treat because I am now raising saddleback caterpillars, one of the most common stinging species found throughout the eastern United States and arguably one of the more painful to encounter. Now you might ask why I would be undertaking something this potentially painful and risky and I will tell you that it was completely by accident. I brought these guys home as eggs on some cherry leaves I had cut from my Cecropia caterpillars. And at the time, they were so small at one millimeter that even with rinsing and scrutiny, I did not see them. A few days later, I noticed something happening on one of the leaves and using a jeweler's magnifier, I could see this, which I knew was some species of slug caterpillar, but could not be sure until they developed their telltale saddle of green and brown on their middle. And if you look closely, you can see those venomous spines just waiting for you to brush up against them so they can break off into your skin and give you a dose of the toxins they have stored within. Now, let me just say these caterpillars barely move and they certainly don't attack anyone, but if you accidentally brush up against them, you will know it. And if you're like me, who has been stung by them in the past, the itchy burning rash can last for about three days. But I have to say they are still terribly cute. They look like little gumdrops, and even though I have to hold my breath when I am tending to them, I have not yet decided to return them to the wild. I am enjoying watching them do their business, tending to stay together in groups on the leaves, so seemingly harmless, and hoping I can be careful enough not to get stung. I am sure it is hard to tell, but they are still incredibly small, with the largest ones about the size of half a pencil eraser and they will eventually become a not very spectacular brown moth who will be completely harmless. But even their cocoons carry spines from their body, so I am a long way from safety yet. Anyway, if you would like to come on this journey with me and see how big these pin cushions will get, follow along and I will be posting more of them along with updates in the weeks to come.